Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we are talking about the Mr. The Nintendo Switch Dock, Hideo Kojima, as well as Super Nintendo World. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, if you are a fan of emulation or if you're a fan of those analog systems that are driven by FPGA chips, there's probably a pretty huge chance you've heard of the Mister. At a high level, the Mister is kind of like these analog systems here. These analog systems use an FPGA chip to mimic the original game hardware. So if you're playing a game on one of these analog systems, it's almost one for one compared to the original. And the Mister is also like the Raspberry Pi, a do-it-yourself solution where you can play multiple systems using ROMs. The Mister is kind of the best of both worlds. You get the convenience of multiple ROMs and multiple systems, as well as the accuracy of the FPGA chip all in one system. One of the biggest barriers of entry getting started with the Mister is the fact that it's a little bit more involved than the Raspberry Pi. Getting started with a Retro Pi is pretty straightforward. You buy the Raspberry Pi, case, power supply, HDMI cables, controllers, micro SD card. You program the micro SD card, put everything together, and you're pretty much good to go. Or you can buy a kit that contains everything you need and takes away a lot of the guesswork. With the Mister, it's not near as straightforward. You have to buy the main board, some RAM, as well as pretty much everything else that connects to it. But fortunately, Mister Add-ons here has made the entire process a lot easier and has removed a huge chunk of that barrier of entry by offering a pre-configured bundle. This bundle contains pretty much everything you need to get going aside from video cables or controllers. And the best part about this is they're not gouging you on prices for everything in the kit. Yes, this kit is expensive at 420 bucks. Getting into the universe of Mister is not a cheap endeavor. I would say it's more for the hobbyist or for the enthusiast out there. If you are at all interested in the Mister, I will leave a link to this forum as well as the GitHub in the description below so you can read up and ask questions there if you have any. Next up in the news, the Nintendo Switch dock looks like it may be at end of life. There is news here, it was posted on Reddit Nintendo Switch that Nintendo UK support told someone that the dock is discontinued. So basically, someone asked Nintendo support when the Switch dock would be available again because it has been sold out on the UK website for some time. Nintendo got back to them and said, no, it's not coming back. Their exact words were, I am really sorry, but we have discontinued the Nintendo Switch dock set in the UK. Therefore, our UK store will no longer stock this on our site. Here in Canada, the Switch dock has also been out of stock for quite a while. So it looks like the only way to get an additional dock will be to buy an additional system or buy a third party one. With Nintendo discontinuing the dock in the UK and probably in a broader scene relatively soon, it does make me wonder what is the future for the Switch dock? Is this just going to be simply sold with the system and that's it? Are they redesigning the dock or are they coming out with an entirely new product? With rumors of a Nintendo Switch Pro or 2 on the horizon, this might mean a brand new product that will be backward compatible with the current generation Switch. But realistically, I don't know what Nintendo is doing here and no one else does either. Let me know in the comments below if you have any guesses as to why they would discontinue the dock. Next up in the news, this is a rumor that has gained a little bit of popularity on Twitter. Hideo Kojima is reportedly working on a Silent Hills game for the PlayStation 5. Apparently Kojima and Konami have mended their relationship and are working with Sony for a PS5 exclusive that will be revealed at the gaming awards. I'm not being a pessimist here, but given the history of all parties involved, realistically, I will believe this once I see it. I'm hoping that this does not turn into a Half-Life 3 rumor situation. And last, but most definitely not least, Super Nintendo World will be opening February 4th, 2021 in Japan. When or if this pandemic ends and whenever I end up going to Japan, I really want to check out Super Nintendo World. It looks pretty fun. But anyways, that is all I've got for today. Let me know what you thought about the news today in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.